welcome back to yet another video and I hope that you get to enjoy. Now for today I want to talk about briefly about physical glow up. You know physical glow up. It can be maybe it's something that you want to be gaining or losing physically. It can be your weight. Now when you talk about physical glow up the first thing that will come in your mind is like exercise. Exercising is one of the best way to keep fit and also keep your heart bumping. Yeah. <laughs> bumping and to keep you in shape and to avoid you at least keep you off a lot of diseases. Given 2020 a lot of people have uh, started exercising. <laughs> Since it hit, we've all been running and exercising day in day out, you know. But physical glow up it should be something from in within to your outside let it be something that you want to do nobody's forcing you unless it is circumstances maybe you're ill and it requires you to work out honey you have to work out there's no point in not working out your life is underlying so always remember whenever you're exercising or you want to do cardio or anything Remember to always drink water an hour before you exercise. And in between your exercises, you can drink sips of water, not a gallon full of water. Because it will burn, I don't know what it is called, but it will burn you while you're exercising. And it will make you so uncomfortable so you won't be able to push through your exercises. And also remember while you're exercising, warm up before you start your workout routine warm up you can do stretches they're always the best or you can decide to what is it called cardio i think cardio also is like a warm-up like low tone kind of warm-up yeah they also help and actually they're also good in a way that help you to burn fat now burning fat of your body there are different types of fat there's fat that the stubborn stubborn kind of fat and there's that the regular kind of fat now most of our bodies have stubborn fat if you know what the type of fat that you have or if you don't know you can see a nutritionist they can help you with that because they they know those things and uh, or maybe at the gym if they have a coach they he or she can help you at the gym and also remember when you're exercising hold <laughs> hold your your hair in a bun or backward to avoid it from touching your face because if the hair is always touching your face and your pores are open it will be poking your pores and it will really hurt you and it may cause even swelling to your pores and that while you're sweating and then your pores you're poking your pores and it the germs might get inside your pores and it may cause uh, some skin diseases that are severe you know and also remember the things that you put on your body they will add to your physical glow up okay let's say like when you're washing your face basically i have like three steps that i follow three yeah three steps that i follow while doing my makeup well one of it is the uh, I cleanse my face with oil-based cleansers, naturally made, aka olive oil. So after doing my olive oil cleanse, and then I wash my face, my face with a dental bar soap, or if I'm not using soap, I can use alternatively uh, oatmeal that I use. I soak it with under warm water for like a few seconds. And then I wash it with my face. It lathers somehow like soap. Yeah, and it works. Actually, it helped me from a severe skin damage that I had. My skin was so scaly and dry. But when I started using the oatmeal uh, routine for my skin, for my skin care, actually my skin kind of kind of changed because I couldn't use any harsh chemicals or anything they will just burn me and I was so uncomfortable and it made my skin so itchy all the time and red and pale oh, it was too much <laughs> so remember the things that you put in your in your face 
let them be minimum a lot of these 10 steps 20 uh, all of those steps they are okay when they are done by a professional or with the right skincare routine equipment and all of those things that you need but if you don't know that much about skincare like don't do anything unless you have consulted a dermatologist or somebody who is more knowledge in that area which will help you to have like your physical glow will be up and shooting so also remember to while you're exercising this one this one will go to my ladies i'm sorry but wear fitting bras wear fitting panties wear fitting pants and fitting shoes if you are working and you're not comfortable you will be you might think that you're helping your body but you might be hurting your body because constant pressure in one area can cause harm to your body avoid things that are not comfortable for you if it is around your bust if it is on your legs or your pants or anything wear things that are comfortable while exercising okay the reason as to why i'm saying uh, have your thing outfits when your body is not under pressure actually you glow different and when you drink water actually you also glow much brighter <laughs> if you drink water you know this yes we know this and and there's nothing wrong actually when drinking water or if you don't drink water but if you don't drink water you'll be constipated all alone by yourself and actually it's not good for your health at least drink water one liter a day at least for starting for starting up you can be doing that now. another tip for your physical glow up is the way you dress now the way you dress tells a lot about you and can tell a lot about a person and know your style we all have different styles there's leave alone your figure there's a style that looks good on you even without you putting any effort even if it is second hand type of clothes or even if it is brand new or a set of color that really embraces your body now if you want to choose a, a color for your skin always place it on the back of your arm because most of the time the back of your arm is similar to your face or if not be close to a mirror and then you place it on your on your on your chest okay nini place it <laughs> place it on your chest and then you can look through the mirror and then you can see if it is matching or accepting or glowing to your skin like it is appreciating the skin that you have so i've been doing that and actually it really really works like i love black i think black is for everyone but black looks good on me and also um uh, off-white kind of clothes they look good on me so you can try something else something new and also on outfits uh, the type of shoes that you wear not all shoes are for everyone I've tried this for me it's uh, the chunky heels they look good on me now with that it doesn't mean that you can't try out new things you can you know you can always try new things and see what works for you okay now thank you so much for watching this video as short as it was but i hope you got to learn a few things here and there till next time bye bye adios